piano. Hey, you know what time it is? What time is it, man? The beat. <laughs> Welcome everyone to another episode of The Beatdown, the segment where two worlds collide. I am your host, Class. This is my co-host. Mr. J, what's going on guys? And we would like to remind you, if you like our videos or our content, go in the section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and always share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, today we're going to do an interesting one. Um, we're not doing anything on a tournament or anything like that. We're just going to be doing one that we decided we wanted to do because it seemed like an interesting one. So. I'm gonna start things off by representing. You want me to start? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna start things off by representing DC Comics Raja Ghoul. Are you man enough to face your better? Okay. Um, brief origin story time. Raja Ghoul was born 700 years ago in a, a Chinese tribe in the Arabian desert. Um, he took upon becoming a physician because he loved science and medicine so much. And eventually that's how he met his wife okay so that's a at the beginning it starts kind of kind of pleasant for Raj you know he's a, you know he's experiencing love he's got a good job things are looking pretty well for the guy then suddenly he uh, discovers the Lazarus pit and uh, you know this Lazarus pit could do a lot of uh, neat things it can actually heal things from your body it even can even bring people back to life but there are some side effects to these medications as always and the side effects is you become a mad man or a mad woman, whichever case it goes in this essence, or the situation. I always say essence for some reason. Anyways, um, Raja Ghul tries it on a uh, Sultan's prince, and because uh, he apparently is, I guess he's dead, and he brings him back to life, and the prince goes crazy, so crazy that he kills <coughs> Raja Ghul's wife. Okay, so and through his madness, um, and instead of letting his son take the blame for his responsibility. He decides to take to shift the blame to someone else, Raj. So he says, Raj Agul killed his own wife. And so that way his son doesn't have to deal with any embarrassment, even though he was the one who killed her. Um, then, so for his punishment, he decides to put him in a cage with his wife, his dead corpse, and leave him in the middle of the desert to die. Um, luckily enough, someone's loved one, who was one of his patients, uh, rescues him. And he decides to seek revenge by... Um, killing the royal family and burning down the whole village and then becoming the head of the demon. And that is the brief origin story of Raj Al Ghul. Powers, abilities, and feats. Let's get into it, guys. Alright, magic. Yes, he does have magic. Super strength, super speed, super durability. The Pretty much the cocktail of superheroes, okay? This cocktail drink of superheroes, everybody has it. Super strength, super speed, and super durability. I don't know why everybody has it. Uh, necromancy... Uh, power absorption, genius uh, level intellect, escapology, equestrianism, firearm deception, eidetic memory, alchemy, martial arts, swordship, tactical analysis. And his gear, he has a paralytic toxin, he has synthetic kryptonite sword, he has an ultraviolet, ultraviolet light grenade, he has a demon wing, which is kind of a version of the bad wing, but he calls it the demon wing. And uh, let's see, the ones, let's talk about his feats. Um, he's... Showing he was able to hold his own against Deathstroke and Batman. Batman is known as one of the best martial artists in existence in the DC realm. And he was able to hold his own against him. And he's actually kind of beaten him a few times, but not full completely in Deathstroke too. He's defeated Bane. And Bane, if you know Bane, steroid out on his Venom thing and you know all that rage he has plus his skill. He's a pretty top dog to beat. So you can't mess uh, mess around with that guy. He defeated the JLA, which is the Justice League of Society, by using Batman's note to find out their weaknesses and then exploit it. And he even got Batman kicked out because of it, out of the team because of that. So that's crazy. So let's start off with the skills. Um, 700 years is a long time to obtain a lot of things. So I got to say his experience alone is going to be able to probably, he's going to be able to countermeasure probably any of Shredder's fighting moves because he knows probably all the moves in existence so he probably knows how to counter strike each and every one of those moves and uh you know if that's not enough and they're in the stalemate when it comes to countering each other's style and fights there's also the weapons he's obtained he's got the um uh, the the toxin he can use at a moment's known it to kind of stuff to kind of put 
uh, Shredder in a weakest uh, state, or he could throw the ultraviolet grenade just to blind Shredder, giving him the have to focus his, uh, his senses on other things, which would be a little difficult when you're going against a skilled fighter. It'd be one thing if it was an average uh, fighter he's going against, but if it was a skilled fighter and he's gone and lost one of his senses, that's going to put him in a real big disadvantage, especially against Raja Ghul, who pretty much can't does not get tired. He's pretty much Captain America to this situation. He's like, I could do this all day. Okay, so his years of experience in combat technique, he's got that mastered. His extra super strength and abilities gives him a little more of a top level when it comes to Shredder. I don't think Shredder has like super, super human strength. I think so my last point will be this is that because of the knowledge and skills he had over the course of the years for 700 years, that means he's probably mastered a lot, even learned a few tricks here and there. Um, his super strength and super speed gives him the ability to kind of maybe overpower Shredder in that way. Um, his his equipment also gives him the sneak a trick, a sneak attack move, and because of the way he's able to be, uh, he has eidetic memory and the fact that he's uh, genius intellect. I figure he's going to find a way through Shredder's armor, either to how, to, how to take it off or how to actually get through it and penetrate it and find a move through it. Either way, Raja Ghoul for the win. Time that you and I finally finish this. All right, my combatant today will be Oroko Saki otherwise known as the Shredder. You picked the wrong battle, warrior. Now, the Shredder is the leader of the Foot Clan. However, coming up in this, you know, secret ninja society, he had one rival, Omato Yoshi. Now, it is well known throughout their history that, you know, they competed in just about everything. However, they weren't just rivals in the ninja class they were also competing for a woman now there's a couple different interpretations of what had happened but basically tang shin is the is the name of the woman that they were competing for in all versions she dies um there was a there was the movie version obviously where the shredder breaks into the house kills them both and then there's i'm not entirely sure what the comics was but in a show, basically, he attacked Hamato, and she got in the way, and that's how she was killed. She was killed on accident. But like I said, there's a couple different ways, but she, she does die, yeah. and she is killed. So after, you know, Shredder, after that, he pretty much masters 18 different forms in ninjutsu, which is all of them. And that is the brief origin of the Shredder. Now I'm going to go into his arsenal as well as his feats. Keep in mind, I can't pronounce a lot of this stuff, so I'm, I am doing my, my best with it. The Takago Kai Claws, which I believe translates loosely to back of the hand hooks. That is those two, or sometimes it's three, they look like Wolverine Claws that are on the back of his palm. He has smoke pellets, a katana, a laser sword, as well as, he's, he has, a, he constantly keeps a bottle of mutagen on him which is the same thing that transformed the ninja turtles into their humanoid form and what he does with this is he consumes it and he's able to turn into the super shredder now the super shredder has his own abilities which is superhuman strength durability he could even teleport as well as throw lightning Damn. going into his feats he has fought and disarmed eight mutants at the same time he's moved faster than the eye can see survived leatherhead's bite Threw an oil tanker as the Super Shredder, survived a thousand foot fall, cut through steel, and defeated multiple enemies. Damn. So going into the end game, Shredder is going to have to keep the fight where he wants it. And what that means is he's going to have to keep Raj Al Ghul away from his Lazarus Pit. Because if Raj Al Ghul is wounded and is aware enough and he's at his home base, he will just go into the pit and heal himself. So he's going to have to keep him away from that. Um, as well as the mutagen, he's gonna have to use it. He's gonna need to turn into the Super Shredder because Raj Al Ghul may be strong, but I don't know if he could exactly take an oil tanker and just shrug it off, especially if he's nowhere near the Lazarus Pit. Yeah. Now, if another thing the Shredder could do is he could just stab Raj and just plummet off of another fall. He was able to survive a thousand foot fall. However, I'm not sure if Raj can. So, 
the Super Shredder is definitely going to come into a big factor. He's either going to need his need to use his strength or his teleportation or his lightning. I'm not entirely sure how well Raj can shrug off a lightning bolt. That that's you got to be pretty immensely strong in order to do that. Yeah. So, especially with the laser sword and his ability to teleport, if he's able to teleport and Raj doesn't see him coming, he can just cut him. So, with those three things said, that's how I see it breaking down, and that's how I see Shredder taking this home. All right. Yeah, solid. Okay, guys. Well, as always, it's not up to me. It's not up to him. Nope. It's up to you guys. So, if you guys liked my argument, you know what you can do? You can hashtag Rajal Ghoul. And if you like my boy's argument, you know what you can do, brother? Hashtag the shredder. Yeah, as always, no press fam. We really appreciate you guys. Catch you guys later. Peace.